I think the, the people of the Cook Islands now feel that Sawara should be an area that's preserved for its wildlife and its natural conditions. For us to go to Sawara and carry out this project of, of rodent eradication helps strengthen the natural state of Sawara. The Pacific Secretariat of, of uh, BirdLife International has had a program running uh, since 2006 of uh, restoring sites that are of in international importance for birds. Sawara is in, in the top 1% of sites internationally. In this instance it's seabirds and it has over 100,000 pairs of sooty terns. It has large populations of red-tailed tropic birds and also greater frigate birds and lesser frigate birds. As soon as it starts to get sort of dusk, the rat activity increases markedly. So within the space of a few metres, see one or two, if not several, rats running around. Push it over to your left. Biggest challenge is definitely just clearing the tracks. I can't understate how difficult that task is in terms of the physical challenge, if you like. It's hot, it's humid, the bush is thick, you've got to cut it with a knife. And added to that, you've got mosquitoes, which are probably the least of your hassles compared to the wasps. Probably the, the most notable effect is really the absence of birds on, on Motutau relative to the other motu. So that in some ways signifies the impact of rats. Just want to run through the process for, for broadcasting the bait. At this stage, it's, it's really just making sure that we get bait everywhere. We don't leave any gaps and then following on from that, fine weather continues. The forecast is good, so we're expecting uh, no rain for at least the next three nights and, and hopefully longer. So in the last 24 hours, we've had rain, a lot of rain. Unfortunately, what that has meant is that um, the bait that we've put out on Motuto has got wet. It can still be successful, but the risk you like of it, of it failing is, is, is much higher. So now we're just hanging back to, to wait for a good break of three consecutive days without any rain so we can lay uh, bait on this island on Anchorage. We of course are going to rebait bait too. Today saw us heading over to the Gull Islands, a set of four islands east of Anchorage. On the first island, the, the larger one of the four, quite a few lesser frigate birds nesting. The male, of course, is, is mostly black with a couple of white spots under its wings. They have this really large red balloon which pops out and gets inflated on their throat, so it's probably one of the things that they attract the females to. For the second application, the conditions have been a lot better, so we applied that bait on Motuto about three days ago, and we've essentially had fine weather since. There was a few telltale signs to suggest that uh, rodents on Motuto had been heavily impacted by the bait. There was an aroma, if you like, of their former presence. It's still too soon to be certain that it is rat free, so uh, it'll be two years before um, and um, having caught nothing, we'll be able to uh, declare it hopefully uh, rat free. There are very few single actions than, for instance, completely eliminating rats from a population that can have as much impact. The birds are special to these islands here and we treat them as a partner. It is my heritage and I'm very proud of my heritage and I do everything I can to preserve our heritage. <laughs>